it's Anna and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. I've decided to start a new series on my channel. I'm going to be starting a beginner series because I have a lot of people that watch my videos that are just getting into horses or they are beginners. But today I'm going to be showing y'all how I tie my cinch and I'm also going to create a playlist for this beginner series so later you can check back on my channel um, and go in my playlist. And so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you do and subscribe down below if you would like to see more of my future videos. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so this is um, the knot that I use. This is the Latigo knot. And I use a smart cinch. These are my favorite cinches. Let me just untie it and then I'll show y'all how I do it. And your Latigo, you're always supposed to have tied up like this um, to keep it just like to keep it neat. I have a, I show y'all how to do this in my um, life hacks video, so I'll have that link down below because not everybody knows how to do this, so I included it in my life hacks video. And when you grab the cinch, you just want to reach your arm under like this and just grab the cinch. You don't want to put your entire body under the horse. And a lot of the times people use the buckle um, with these holes right here. And they'll just buckle the latigo. Um, I personally like to do the latigo knot because it's, I feel like it's safer. Because if you were riding and the latigo came out of this buckle right here, your saddle would loosen up a lot and potentially fall off of your horse. Um, so I personally like to tie my latigo because I feel like it's safer than just buckling it. So I'm going to first put the latigo through this loop right here. And this is a smart cinch so it has the two um, little slots right here the first one is with the roller on top and then you will put your slack in here you just put your first um, you know your first time you go through the top your other cinches will just have like a D ring um, but since this one has the rollers um, you go through the top first and then you'll come back through and then you'll go back to the bottom just like that and this latigo is not very long, so normally I just run it through twice since it's not very long. Um, and then you are going to put the tail end through this ring up here and you're going to come out to the left. And this is the same knot that you use to tie a tie. Um, so if you know how to tie a tie, then you can kind of relate to that. Um, and I tie mine before I tighten mine up. I just, tie, I just pull it up just a little bit. You don't want to tighten it when you first put your cinch on. And then you're going to cross it over and you're going to go back through this side. So you're going to go up and then back through like that. And then you're going to go down just like that. And when you first put your cinch on, you do not want to tighten it up um, at first. You need to gradually tighten your cinch as you are um, doing groundwork or, you know, walk, leading your horse around or something like that. Normally, I'll just put it on to where the saddle won't fall off. Um, so I'll just tighten it just a little bit and then um, I'll go and normally lunge her and then I'll bring her in and tighten it up, lunge her a little bit more and then bring her in before I get on and tighten it again. So normally I tighten it about three times before I get on because horses hold air in their belly. Um, so if you just tighten it all the way um, when you get on and they start breathing normal, um, they're their stomach is going to shrink back to normal and then your saddle is going to loosen and it's also uncomfortable for them if you just come up to them and you know tighten the cinch up all the way um so normally that's why you have cinchy horses um normally when horses try to bite you or kick you while you're cinching them up it's normally because somebody has probably cinched them up too tight before um, or too quickly and they didn't do it gradually so I like to do it very gradually and don't just you know come up to them and cinch them up all the way and to tighten it you just loosen the knot up here and then pull it up and then pull your slack out and then pull it down just like that um, instead of you know tightening it and then trying to tie it it's easier if you tie it and then tighten it um, because it will be hard to keep your you know tightness while you're tying it um, so yeah, that is how I tie it, and the more you do it, the more, you know, you'll get used to it, but this is just how I like to do it. So once you've, like, tightened your slack, most of your slack with your cinch, 
you're gonna go back to the left, cross over, go back under and up, and then you're gonna go back down with it. Just like that. And if this was longer, I would put the extra in here. The next two times that I tighten it, I'll probably need, I'll have more slack, so I'll put the extra in here. But since um, I just put it on or there's not a lot of, you know, slack, so I don't need to put it in there, um, I'll just leave it like that. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope that it was helpful. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.